Now, your weather forecast with meteorologist Jasmine Lomax. Welcome back. Well, all day long, the showers and storms have been the main topic. Notice we are nice and dry right now. We saw a few showers move through the area, and now most of the action is actually moving off of the coast and onto the water. We've been dropped from the marginal warning, but still a few areas sit under a marginal risk, mainly south of I-10. Otherwise, we are fairly quiet right now. Still, there is that slight chance that we could see an isolated shower overnight. Otherwise, expect to stay mostly dry and mostly cloudy. Now, you can can see just how overcast it is outside right now. We've warmed up a little bit. Currently we're at 79, feels like 82. Winds out of the west at around 8 miles and feel like temperatures around the rest of the area in the 70s and the 80s. Feels like 78 in Hammond, 84 in New Orleans, 75 in Thibodeau, areas closer to the coast and areas in the yellow a little bit cooler thanks to the storms that move through the area. Now our dew points are in the 70s. We're at 73. Expect this number to continue to rise into the mid 70s overnight and tomorrow that's going to make it feel very muggy. So if you have any evening plans, you should be good to go. It will be mostly dry, but we are going to be a little bit muggy as temperatures fall into the mid 70s. Then tomorrow for the 4th of July, unfortunately, we are looking at the possibility for storms in the area, but that's not how the day will start. We're at 77 at 7 a.m. Nice, cool and dry outside. Then by 10 a.m., 84 and by 1 p.m. It really starts to feel hot and muggy as our temperatures approach 90. Notice though, we are monitoring some storms in the area. That is what we're looking at. So unfortunately, if you do have any outdoor plants, uh, they could be on halt due to those storms in the area. Just remember that if you hear thunder to head indoors immediately. Otherwise, grab the rain gear for tomorrow and really for Sunday and Monday and Tuesday. Take a look at the future cast starting off the morning nice and dry. But once we make it to around noon, we start to see those showers and storms move into the area. This model has us mainly dry around 8 p.m. Could see another shower around 9, but again, mostly dry as we head into Sunday. Then we get ready for more storms in the area. And it looks like on Sunday they will be a little bit more widespread. Once we head into the overnight hours, we start to dry out. Then we prepare for more storms in the picture on Monday and again on Tuesday. So a bit of a wet pattern over the next four days, about a 60% chance for storms in the area tomorrow. That jumps up to 70 on Sunday and Monday. We're expecting those thunderstorms to be a little more widespread. That drops to 60 on Tuesday, and it looks like after that we finally start to dry out. Still that slight chance for an isolated shower as we end the work week. Now we're nice and quiet in the tropics. We're not expecting any activity over the next five days. But again, tonight dropping to about 74. A few early showers are possible, but otherwise we stay mostly cloudy. Then Saturday 91, a few scattered storms for your 4th of July. Now we've partnered with iHeartRadio Baton Rouge to give your weather on the go, and this is what we're looking at over the next few days. A stormy weekend and even start of of the week, but once we make it into the second half of the week, we start to warm up and dry out and get a little bit closer to average. Still, it's going to be very humid, and for that reason, our skeeter meter is in that high range. So remember the bug spray and remember to check your blood pressure. We'll be right back.